I mean, the people who get together to serve the community, especially in this time when we, we read about and hear about and see on TV all these cuts to services to our people, our people. Uh, and you'll find that people in your community, there are some real angels and they have put their lives on the line to do stuff. So stay tuned for Livewire right after this. It's called Mom's Rock. I'm Ray Tatter. I'm your host for today on Live Wire. It is live, and with me in the studio is Nicole Thrower and her son, Yeshua. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? Well, we're doing fine. Good. Really fine. And I, I am, um, I'm really interested. Um, your organization that you're representing as you sit there mm -hmm. is called Mom's Rock. Yes. Now, is that Mom's Rock or is that Mom's Rock? Mom's rock, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, because moms do, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And um, I'm very interested in, it's a service organization that you are, are developing that actually serves moms with um, big trouble in their family, right? Yeah, definitely. And this came out of big trouble in your family. Yes. Care to talk about it? From the beginning, um, my brother David Jackson was diagnosed with a rare disease mm -hmm. called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And back in the 80s, they didn't have any type of cure, any type of medication for it. So yes. he just basically suffered through the disease and he passed away at 19. Um, it's a muscle wasting disease mm -hmm. that ultimately kills your muscles. So going through that with him, um, was just really hard for us as a family to deal with that. Yeah. And then once I um, got married and had my own children and finding out that my son had the same disease, it devastated me. It, um, it sent me into a depression and it just overwhelmed me and I, mm. you know, just lost hope. And um, through that, I feel like God just kept me and you know, just revealed some things to me and brought me out of that dark place. Mm -hmm. um, and through that, I just realized, you know, I'm not alone. I know that there's other women, other moms that are going through the same thing, that have children that have special needs, that go to the hospital, spend countless hours, you know, taking care of their children yes. and it being a hard thing on them. So I decided that I wanted to give back to them. So I reached out to my brother-in-law and uh, his nonprofit organization, which is called the Levite Music House. Yes. And um, he said, let's do it. I told him my idea and he said, let's do it. So from there I started planning and last year was my first year of doing it. And mm -hmm. it's, it's just a event that calls together the moms with special needs children and allows them to come and get away from. So you're going to do a second year of this event. This is my second year of okay. doing it. What is the event? So Moms Rock is a free dinner um, for those moms with special needs children so they can come and get away from the stress of life. Um, they have a free dinner. There's tons of giveaways, lots of people who have donated and see it as being a good cause. So they want to support it. So um, just free stuff. Yeah, who who free doesn't stuff. like free stuff? Who you doesn't know? like free yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. And dinner. <laughs> and dinner, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this then, uh, this event is going to happen coming up when? Yes, it's Saturday, July 8th at um, the Boathouse, Bridgeway Boathouse of West Sacramento. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a good place to go. Yeah, definitely. It's overlooking a lake and it's yeah. really beautiful. So hopefully it'll just get the moms to focus on having a good time and not what Go to a going beautiful through. place, mm -hmm. have dinner, and Definitely. get maybe some free stuff. Definitely, get some free stuff. We have lots of door prizes and raffles, so yeah. we have about 20 to 30 gifts that we just 
get donated the, and just the interesting ahead and thing though it's also getting together with other women of the like um, issues definitely definitely um, I feel like Moms Rock is really about support, establishing a community of support with the moms that go through those hard times. Mm -hmm. um, in finding, trying to find support for it, there's not a lot out there. And so I just decided to do it on my own and create that community of moms and support. You know, we support each other. We're all going through the same thing, whether it be different issues with their children, we all have the, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there it is. We put it on the screen there. The second annual free dinner and event for Moms Rock. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there it is. At the Bridgeway Lakes Boathouse. Uh, you know, that's all um, really a um, easy to find, too. Yeah, definitely. Um, all they have to do, if they would like to come, is register. Just uh -huh. go find us on Eventbrite and search Mom's Rock, and but then all they have to do is register, and that's it. So it's on Eventbrite. It's okay. on Eventbrite. Cool. It's through Eventbrite. Cool. So it's going to, it's easy to find then. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you just ask Siri and she'll take you there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I so do it all the cool. time. <laughs> I got lost uh, driving once just recently, and Siri got me home. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Siri. So it's so pleasing to have you here to talk about this. We need uh, hundreds of you. Oh, <laughs> well, there's only one me, but, you know, that's that's a good thing. <laughs> so, yeah, sure. How are you doing? How are you enjoying uh, the being on television? Good. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Really? I noticed that they, people were interviewing you before w the show started. They were asking you, like, what was your favorite cartoon? Um, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, okay. <laughs> I have to too. tell you this, mine too. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but mine too. I have little Spider-Man things all over my house. It's pretty cool, huh? And I have a black Spider-Man at my house. Wow. <laughs> good, 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 good. Well, thanks for coming down and uh, helping your mom do this. <laughs> Thanks very much for telling me all about this, and uh, yeah. I wish you well, Thank and you. I wish this young man well. we got to go on with the next event, and so thanks. Thank you for having me. All right. All right. Okay, we're going to take a short pause for the cause right now. We're going to go to uh, some important information, and we'll be back with Livewire in just a few minutes. nobody talks about at cocktail parties. We go looking for them. No matter the obstacles, no matter the odds, we surround a community's most critical problems, and we fight. United Way fights for the health, education, and financial stability of every person in every community. Will you? share of bruises and injuries. But for many who put their lives on the line every day, it's not always the injuries you can see that hurt the most. Every single day, 184 veterans are diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. When medications and therapy don't help, professionally trained service dogs can. American Humane has created a free guide to help veterans obtain these life-saving animals. For help, please go to AmericanHumane.org. So there's an organization called the Mandarins, and it's uh, been around in Sacramento for about 54 years, mm -hmm. uh, and it does amazing things in our community uh, and across the United States. And with me in the studio is Jim Tabucci, who is their executive director. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I see you brought this in. There's, this has something to do with your organization, right? Yes. And this yes. founding of your organization. Yes. So we're all about um, musical performance, mm -hmm. um, and it's about transforming the lives of youth through musical performance. Yes, especially yeah. because 
of the cuts for the music uh, programs in the schools and things like that? That's correct. Yeah, there have been lots of cuts from federal level and state level. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually start our programs with elementary school music programs. And we have six programs that are starting up here in the fall wow. in uh, Sac City Unified and Elk Grove Unified. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's really wonderful. Yeah. But and you also, which is really great, is you do this national tour. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, so our, our flagship program is actually called the Sacramento Mandarins mm -hmm. Drum and Bugle Corps. And uh, in fact, we're getting ready to, uh, to hit the road. We're gonna go 12,000 miles in 35 days with 150 youth performers and uh, about 50 uh, staff along with us. And you can think of it as a really long field trip. <laughs> yeah, with a yeah. lot of people, you're like, it's an army on the march. It really is, yeah, yeah. And in fact, uh, we're gonna be competing in about 25 different places at the biggest venues across the country. So we're in Mile High Stadium in Denver, we're at Lucas Oil Field, where the Colts play in Indianapolis, and Rose Bowl this weekend. It's gonna be wow. incredible. That sounds like a, a wonderful thing. It is. So um, if I wanted to learn more about this, I probably could get mm -hmm. on your website, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. So we're at mandarins.org, mm -hmm. and that's the simplest way. Yeah. Um, we're also on Facebook, of course, under Sacramento Mandarins. And if I yeah. wanted to get closer to that other than my... Uh, computer. Is there an event I could come to? There absolutely is. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> yeah. How did you know? Right. How did I know that? It's, it's called DCI Capital Classic and it's uh -oh. right here in the Sacramento region. Actually it's going to be held at Monterey Trail High School mm -hmm. on July 8th mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be an incredible competition. We're basically the headliner being that it's our home show. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be going on last um, and we expect to just really light up the crowd. People will want to know what DCI stands for. Yeah, that's called Drum Corps International. Okay. And it's the governing body. You can think of it as the major league. So it's like the NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, all of that. Amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. And then um, <clears throat> we'll get back. To, I want to talk a little bit more about that event. Mm -hmm. But um, but then also you do events. You you provide entertainment for events. Yes, that's Huge correct. Things. Yes, yes. So uh, that's part of our Mandarin's Entertainment Organization. Uh -huh. And uh, we like to say that we are the most visible performing arts organization in the region, right? <laughs> and the so, loudest. Yeah, and the loudest, right? <laughs> yeah. So last year we were seen by about a half a million people. Wow. And uh, it's because we perform at huge events where the people are. So uh -huh. we're, the, uh, we're the drum line for the Sacramento Kings. Mm -hmm. We perform for the Oakland Raiders. Uh, this past weekend, we did the U.S. National Track Meet. We also were at NASCAR, where we did the, uh, the finals uh, for NASCAR. Wow. So, so yeah, we're just visible in all kinds of things, like the Pride Parade, the Sacramento Metropolitan Am uh, Chamber of Commerce event. Um, and yeah. what's this? Look, here's some slides they've put up here without my asking. Yeah. How wonderful. Look, what's that? What's that? I wish I could see. Oh, <laughs> but, wish you could see it. But oh, actually, uh, what actually, you're probably what's seeing is, this, and, and is the drum and bugle horn. They have huge horns. Those mm -hmm. look like flugel horns or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they're... Uh, <laughs> Can you see that now? Yes, yes. Oh, so this thanks. is our this is our drum and bugle corps. Uh -huh. um, so we have 150 members on the field. Um, and it's the largest stage in the world. So we're on a football field. Wow. So 100, 100 yards across. That's a lot of noise happening. Yeah. Lovely music. We don't call it noise. Oh, we, we call, call it, it music. Music. Right? music. Okay, <laughs> I go with that. I go with that. What's this? What? Um, so this is our drum line. Um, so we are a drum and bugle corps. Plus we have our color guard, which you can think of as our dancers on the field. And so That's wonderful. You know, one of our staff here, um, was uh, told me that he uh, he was part of a, the drum and drum corps at one time. Yeah. And did you tell me that you yourself were were a, a, a part of the music? I was actually. Uh, I was a member of the mandarins uh, from about age fifteen to eighteen. Wow. And in fact, it started off as a Chinese only organization uh -huh. because back in the sixties, right? That's uh, there was a lot of uh, racial you know, issues and concern. Yep. And so the founders started the Mandarins as a Chinese organization uh -huh. um, until I came along. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm actually Japanese American. Good. You broke the, 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 the barrier. Yeah, broke, broke the mold, I <laughs> the guess you could say, right. yeah. So we got yeah. about 30 seconds left. Yeah. Tell me, what, 
we want to do is because we want people to come and enjoy this what do we do next yeah so uh, July 8th is our DCI Capital Classic uh, competition Monterey Trail High School uh, we're gonna have great food there and great entertainment on the field uh, we would just like to fill up the, the stands. We can fit about 1,200 people. 1,200 folks. Yeah, and we think we're going to fill it up, so get your tickets early on okay. mandarins.org. Thanks for coming. Thank okay. you. Hey. All right, and uh, we'll see you there on the 8th. Absolutely. All right, All right. we got to take a short pause for the cause again, <laughs> and we'll be back with our next guest in just a nano minute or two, maybe three, right after this. I tell people I have three kids, one of them's adopted, I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation, why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her thank you, he is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine oh, from him, so. We're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. Nearly half of children with autism wander away from safe places such as their home or school. If you ever see a child walking alone, remember the three S's. Stop to help, seek assistance from police, stay until they arrive. If a child with autism is missing, immediately search places that pose the most danger, such as nearby water and busy streets. To learn more, visit missingkids.com aware. We're back. Wow. We're back with Live Wire. And with me in the studio is Savad Sarkisian, and he represents an interesting uh, approach to community organization, wouldn't you say? Yes, indeed. Tell me about it. Well, thanks for having us, Ray. Uh, State Farm uh, has uh, been working for 95 years to earn the right uh, to be the good neighbor. Yeah. And today, our uh, 19,000 agents and 70,000 associates across the country make every interaction with a customer, with a community member, mm -hmm. about the people, about the relationship, and it's really all about helping life go right for people. As an extension of that, State Farm is rolling out a new initiative called Neighborhood of Good. And uh, essentially, there'll be a number of facets to this initiative, but uh, two things that I want to mention up front is that this is a platform for nonprofits around the country to go ahead and register and present their volunteer opportunities that are available for community members all across the country. I like it. I think that that's a wonderful uh, approach to uh, organizing volunteerism because volunteerism, as you well know, is a um, hard business. You know, you really have to reach out to the community and Absolutely. volunteers only have so much time and they have family issues. So, And, and the, the additional thing about the platform is that it allows the public to then go search the site, mm -hmm. neighborhoodofgood.com, and in your local area, for issues that you care about, you might be able to find an opportunity to make a positive change in your community. So that's what the platform is, and we're very excited to present it. So you it. brought a couple of uh, platformees, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. Okay, um, so uh, Christine Davidson, you yes. are a platformee? Yes, I'm with the Safety Center. Oh, you're with the Safety Center? Yes. Okay, and um, Ms. Byron? Yes, yes. Uh, my name is Holly, and I'm with the uh, Nonprofit Women's Empowerment. Nonprofit Women's Empowerment. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. That, that it em empowers women to be nonprofits? <laughs> no, actually, what we I do. I can tell you that. <laughs> a lot of us are. <laughs> actually um, a comprehensive job readiness program for women that are experiencing homelessness in our region and we offer um, a program that our mission is to inspire and educate and empower women who are homeless with the skills and the confidence that they need to get a job to regain yeah. safe housing and to um, maintain a healthy lifestyle not just for themselves but for their children okay and Christine your organization 
Um, we empower the community to uh, reduce injuries by, you know, um, creating safe decisions in their lives. Absolutely. Um, so we work uh, through the youth, you know, like preschool all the way to the elderly and in between. Um, and both your organizations have nifty websites. <laughs> yes, you learn we a do. Lot. Yes, you learn yes. A lot. So how does this now work now uh, in terms of uh, organizations like these two organizations? What would they do to... Uh, have this uh, neighborhood good or uh, be developed for them? It's, it's a resource for nonprofits mm -hmm. uh, throughout the country to register. Mm -hmm. And I believe both organizations uh, have done so. And then it becomes searchable. So both the Safety Center and uh, Women's Empowerment will offer up what volunteer opportunities they have in the Sacramento region. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the public goes, uh, those who want to make a difference in their community, small or large, a one-time opportunity or ongoing commitment, uh, uh, they can go search neighborhoodofgood.com and they might find an opportunity at Women's Empowerment or Safety Center where they can make a difference uh, by volunteering their time and sharing their talents with their community. Fascinating, fascinating. So how did you hear about it? I mean, did somebody just tap you on the shoulder? Well, we've um, partnered with State Farm before, and when we found, about, found out about the initiative from Savad, uh -huh. we were really excited about it. I mean, one of the things that we've seen is that it's hard to know how to get involved. There's so many opportunities to dive in, and um, this platform really helps people search according to what they're interested in, what their passions are, and then um, ties them to organizations with the same interests. And so uh, for us, we're always trying to get the word out there and get volunteers involved. And so this is a really easy way for, for people at any age to log on and, uh, and to, to Gosh, seek us out. I'm going to have a nonprofit I'm, I'm associated with log on. Get them logged on, <laughs> Please yeah. Do. Yes, yes. Right. And Christine, how about you? Uh, so we find it, uh, you know, helpful because a lot, oftentimes it's hard to get uh, volunteers to stay. Um, so this is exactly like she said, they can research. Um, we've got like five huge events, um, whether it be teaching young people, you know, how to cross the street safely, or we have like our Halloween haunt event and that event itself takes, you know, hundreds of volunteers to put off for the community. Um, and uh, so we, we need a lot of volunteers, you know. One of the biggest problems or difficulties we have for us is that our, you know, our tours that are led for um, young people, uh, we mainly recruit out of colleges. Mm -hmm. So they might just stay for the semester, you know, and, and how do we retain volunteers mm -hmm. that stay with us long term, you know, is what we what we want. So this would be an avenue so that, you know, uh, people throughout the community could say, oh, you know, I, I can do that, you know, um, and uh, hopefully we can make that connection. Well, you have some events coming up, right? Yeah. So right now we're uh, in the process of our free family bike nights, which run all summer long from June to August on Thursdays and Friday evenings from 5.30 to 8 o'clock at night. And you can come in and ride for free. It's a community event. Um, it's totally enclosed in our little city. If you're not familiar with us, we have uh, that little miniature city that's called Safety Bill. Safety Bill, I've seen <laughs> it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, you know, a lot of, we are the safety center, but a lot of people recognize us through uh, Safety Bill USA. Absolutely. So, yes. And Women's Empowerment, it has uh, some organizational events? Yeah, so we actually are about to begin our next nine week session in July and with that becomes um, comes a whole array of ways to get involved to be a volunteering in our on-site child care center or helping the women with their mock interview um, presentation skills, helping women in the classroom as they're completing projects, applying for jobs, creating resumes. Um, there's really a variety of different ways to get involved but mm -hmm. that new session is starting and so with that is a whole whole new array of opportunities. Wow, well this uh, Neighborhood Good Association, you know I know there are more than 500 nonprofits just in um, the county, this mm -hmm. county. Fantastic. So uh, <laughs> let's I get them all to logging on. Yeah. It's got to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's get them all to join yeah. Neighborhood of Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, you know, and that is an important thing because you talked about this um, across, uh, cross pollination of, of information. Mm -hmm. uh, you can. I, I just wanted to share, though, as, uh, as I think about some of the opportunities and challenges Christine and Holly mentioned. One of the things that came up in, one of, in the survey that we did as we began to prepare the initiative Neighborhood of Good, we did mm -hmm. some survey work. And one of the things that came up out of that was that time is mm -hmm. often uh, noted as a challenge or obstacle for people uh, when it comes to volunteering. Yeah. And the point I guess I would like to make uh, uh, to your audience and to the community is uh, summertime is a great time for especially young people to connect with each other, yep. connect with their families, and find a way uh, to participate in the life of their community through volunteerism. 
uh, whether it's uh, making cards uh, for veterans in a nearby veterans home, mm -hmm. serving in a soup kitchen, perhaps participating in one of the beautiful charity events. What are those people uh, doing? Planting trees. Uh, <laughs> there are always opportunities in a community to do uh, work for the environment, whether it's cleaning up a park or um, the riverbank, the beautiful rivers that are in this mm -hmm. region of Sacramento. Uh, so the summertime is an excellent time for young people to spread their wings and see what they can do to give back to their community, to participate. And again, it doesn't have to be big. It, it, sometimes mm -hmm. it's the simplest act of kindness that mm -hmm. is appreciated the most. And I don't know if the two of you see that in your organizations, but uh, it really runs the gamut uh, mm -hmm. from small acts to ongoing commitments. It does, it does. Very, and you know, sometimes it, it triggers ongoing commitment. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, um, you know, they'll come and they'll come to an event and they'll stand in the background and then mm -hmm. call you up and say, can I come down and help you mm -hmm. build a, your theater set? Or can I come down and uh, sew on your costumes or whatever it is, mm -hmm. if it's a theater company or women's empowerment or mm -hmm. safety. Our family bike nights, we often have uh, uh, like Cub Scout groups that come and they, you know, ride for free and we've had them call us up and they said, you know, hey, we'd like to build some park mm -hmm. benches in your little city um, or maybe refurnish your tables, you know. Um, so exactly what you just mentioned, it, it inspires, you know, for um, other people to come out and say, you know, we could help out this city or, mm -hmm. or maybe it's just somebody who wants to, you know, um, come out and tighten up a bicycle helmet for free family bike nights because they have some time, and you know, and and it's little uh, simple acts like that of kindness that, yeah. that help a long way. Wow. So oh, we have like one minute. <laughs> That's the way television works. It's hurry up, it's over. So maybe we could do a wrap up on this, uh, and you could do it. <laughs> From state, first of all, I want to thank Christine and Holly for for joining me today and for uh, Access Sacramento giving us the time to talk about State Farm Neighborhood of Good. Essentially, it's a platform. State yeah. Farm wants us to be a catalyst mm -hmm. for people all across the country to uh, move from the power of caring to the act of doing, mm -hmm. to actually uh, taking action on one's passions and giving back to their community. And uh, uh, we're very excited about it. There's going to be lots of different uh, elements to this. But uh, in fact, this is a platform for people uh, to begin to take action in their local community uh, and, and uh, give back. So uh, thank you. And thank welcome. you, Holly. Thank and you. thank you, Christine, for talking to me about this uh, kind of unique. I think it's really unique that basically a kind of an insurance company has mm -hmm. decided to get closer to the community. Absolutely. You know, we think about them as being back in New Hampshire, but they're not. They're with us. State Farm is all across America. <laughs> uh, all right. We got to say goodbye. So thanks Thank uh, very much for coming and come on back. And we'll talk some more about this because it's very important. All right. We'll see you next week on Livewire. <laughs>